word. You know, one of my uh, most, one of my favorite basketballers of all time. I like one of them mm-hmm. is um, Scotty Pippen. We were just talking about Scott the other week. Yep, um, he came. He had an interview, and he had a he had an interview. A written he had an article written about him about his interview, and then he went on this podcast or show on the on the internet, and he started uh, bad mouthing a lot of people. What's going on with him? He started bad mouthing a lot of people, and um, not a lot of people. A, a certain somebody. Was it just um, was it just his coach, or was it like was he bad mouthing uh, Michael Jordan as well? Um, from what I heard, he was saying that the um, you know, documentary. Yeah. That's that was of jo- Jordan's perspective. Yes. Yep. Right. Um, That's not how it wasn't was. Wasn't of theirs. Yeah. Yeah, it's not how it was. So, like I said, I um I've only known Pippen as a as a humble guy. I've mm-hmm. known him as a, a what what I see on on the internet, like what I see him on the when he's over broadcasting or wearing it. He seems to be professional all the way through, right? Mm-hmm. But he has just let loose on Phil Jackson and the way that he's been depicted and stuff, and mm-hmm. he's had enough. And it made me think, it made me think, someone that is as humble as Pippen, like, when's enough's enough? When was his breaking point where he's like, F this, F this, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've been humble for so long, I've kept my mouth shut, I've played the role perfectly, enough's enough, I want, I want, to, I want people to uh, hear my side of the story. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 and I think it does get lost that no Pippen is no Jordan, no championship, period. Mm-hmm. No Pippen, yeah. no Jordan, no championship. Mm-hmm. So, Jordan's the best player that ever played because he's teamed up with Scottie Pippen. Yes. Yeah. So my thing is... But I think everybody knows that. I just think he wants it to be... He, I, he wants people to give him more recognition. Yeah. So, because th- there seems to be a lot of like resentment and frustration and a lot of anger built up and stuff. Mm. But then he just... He said that in his... um interview he said that phil jackson was a racist i heard phil jackson was it's, a pothead it's hard for us to comment but i don't think so yeah, wasn't he he used, he used to burn like incense around the place no he <laughs> it, it, that it wasn't it was in relation to the um native americans what the native Indians. He was wasn't he drawing inspiration from them? That's not the. That's and he not used the to issue. burn the. No, no. Pippen was talking about like when Jordan left. He said that um, Tony Kukoc um, came on the team, and there was a specific game where Pippen. There was a play drawn up for Tony Kukoc, instead of for Pippen. Yeah, we were, we saw that one on the last dance. Yes, and Pippen. Yeah. Pippen wa- Pippen didn't go on the court. Mm-hmm. And he just like he 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 stayed on the bench for that last play. Yeah. Tony Tony scored it, and Pippen goes, "That was the right play." But like he goes, "Why, the the person that was the 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 player, why didn't he get the chance to take the shot?" Because when you're Maybe, a coach, you have to make these hard decisions because you're looking yeah. going, "What do I need to do?" Right. So Scotty he took s- it personally. Yes, because he said personal. he said that he he said that um, Jordan, if Jordan wasn't there, who would take the shot? Pippen would. Yeah. If it but, was, but if maybe, if Phil thought it was the right thing to do, but if not, not. Yeah. Yeah, like maybe someone was defending him very, very well, or he's being double teamed, and the smarter shot is to get it to Kukoc. Kukoc. It's just like Ben Simmons the other day. He kept going on, off, on, off, on, off because he they he ne- they needed him on on defense and then they take him off offense. Yeah. So, like, it's personal, but it's not right. like the coach is the coach is just doing what a coach needs to do to win. <sighs> like, like if I was the coach and I've noticed one of my players has been double team, mm. or got a very good defender on him, and I can get someone a, a better shot. 
an easier shot. I'll get the guy an easier shot. Right. So we're talking. Care. We're talking about my it, job is to win games. We're talking about it from the coach's perspective, right? Now, yeah. can we see it from the from Pippin's perspective? If you were the guy that grinded it out and did the three peat, if you were the guy that um, was always relied on when the chips were down, right? Why would you get a rookie to take the final shot to win the game? Why would you get Tony Kukoc, a rookie on the team at that time, and Pippen, an uh, 11 year veteran or 10 year veteran, or how long ever he's been on there, a guy that's been in those positions a thousand times? Why would you get Tony Kukoc, a rookie, to take the shot? And not you. Okay. If I you, don't know the stats. Was was Kukoc's stats better at that time for that particular shot? No, Pippen. We're at... talking about from Pippen's perspective. Oh, no, you're in okay. Pippen's perspective. You're on the bench and they've made a play. Not for you. You being the go-to man all this time. You'd you are pissed. the man. Now, Jordan's gone. <laughs> you are the man. This is your time to shine. You are the man. You've got to get it in your head. You are the man. Right? This is your time to shine. Why? Would Phil Jackson make a play for a rookie t- Tony Kukoc instead of a veteran Scotty Pippen in his prime? Yeah, hundred percent. You'd be so mad. I would be furious. But that's from yeah, the player's doesn't perspective. Doesn't mean he's a racist. As I said, it could be a defensive reason. Yeah, but again, CJ, many reasons. I'm saying get into Pippen's head. Yeah, you're not getting in Pippen's head. You'd you're seeing it infuriated. objectively. You got to. You're sitting on the bench. You're looking at Phil, and he's not giving you the ball. You've been doing it for years. I'm telling you now. I'm going. I'm looking at you, and I go, "Nah, I'm going to go with someone else." How are you feeling? That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get you to understand. I want you to give me. I if you're be, in I, I, head. I, I wouldn't be happy about. I wouldn't be like, "Oh, he's racist for it." Hmm. I'd be like, "Fuck, it could be a better play." Yeah. I, I wouldn't be happy that he went past me to go to another player. All right. If not racism, what would you think? Would you start thinking you're not the player you are then? Yeah, I, I wouldn't even think that. I think maybe it's an easier option. Maybe I'm being defended heavily and we can get him by himself. Mm. I, I still don't think you're uh, encapsulating Pippen's mindset. I feel still feel like you're yeah, seeing it objectively. Because, okay, when, jo- when Jordan played with the Bulls, mm. I remember Steve Kerr took a few so last he, shots. So he talked about Pax, that. Pack. Paxton took a few last yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah, he talked about that. He a- said... A- end of the day, it, the coach's job is not to freaking cater to your feelings. Mm. It's to win, win games. He's judged on wins and losses. Yeah. Right? He's not judged if he breaks your heart or hurts your feelings. It's like, it's, it's that's so, the business. So he Jordan, gets judged on so wins Jordan, and losses. Uh, so Pippen um, started uh, commenting on that because everyone brings up the same example. Every single person brings up that same example. And he said that when Jordan was doing that, it was rehearsed. Because at the same time, Jordan was making videos on um, Air Jordan, um, the air up there, all them kind of stuff. And all the people that were in the huddle, the cameramen that were in the huddle, were owned by Jordan. Right? So he was saying that all those things that he was doing in the huddle, they weren't the actual plays that were happening that Phil Jackson were making. That was... That was uh, deliberately made and like rehearsed for the doc- docos. So the actual play was for Jordan, for Jordan to do like the jo- like the the Paxton whatever is a secondary thing, or Steve Kerr would have been a secondary play, but the actual play was different. That's what Pippen was saying when it was okay. in the huddle. So whatever you see oh. in the on the cameras was for a documentary that was uh, happening. Okay, so they they read up a play for Jordan, and they needed a, a plan B. I don't know if that and, was a plan, but this and, is what Pippen's saying. This is not me. Uh, it's uh, like I'm just quoting what, uh, not even quoting like I'm quoting loosely what um Pippen was saying, and like I look, I get it. I get I get where Pippen's coming from. His fresh energy is coming from because being in the shadow for all these years and people really not understanding. Without Pippen, there is no championship. And like, I think the true fans will understand that without Pippen, there is no championship. But like, if you hear Jordan, 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 you can start, uh, like, it's taken him a while before he's been like, he goes, come on, man. (laughs) 
I'm Pippin. It should be Pippin. Pippin Jordan. Pippin Jordan. It's Jordan always Pippen. the way. You're always, there's always, always eras where you're playing with the greatest and you're playing this and that and you're just as good, if not better sometimes, but there's something about that person. They have the X factor, whatever it is. Mm. And you're just going to be in the shadows. I mean... It, it's just exactly the same as Bottas with Lewis Hamilton. Oh, he, that's what I'm but saying. I don't think Bottas is as good as Lewis, but in his mind, he's like... Why not? I'm better I, than yeah. him. Yeah. Even even Robin and Batman. There's all these. There's always a sidekick. Like Pippin is for me. Pippin is always gonna be known as the sidekick. He's never gonna be the man, is he? He's always gonna be like Jordan is no. the guy and Pippin is the sidekick. And that's frustrating because in his own right, he was the man. Mm. Like it was like a two spear, uh, a two headed spear. Mm. It was like. But in the same breath, I feel like, and I. Definitely, I just believe in the fact that you shouldn't toot your own horn and. But he never. Just, but he is now, and I think that that's ruining it. But who cares? No one's going to know like anyway. You can't force it down people. So I was the best. I you, like it's not for you to force down people. I guess throat. it's, not, like, yeah, it's the not opinion humble, of others is, is opinion of others. You can't just you can't force down that. You can't force that opinion down. Like I decided to. While you guys were talking, look at Tony Kukoc's career. Yeah. Right? Yes, he was a rookie mm. in the NBA. Yes. But he wasn't a rookie. rookie. No. He I... wasn't a rookie. Yeah. Okay. He had experience yeah. in Europe. Yeah. Where he where Tony was the man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. He was the man in Europe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't like he was giving it to... An eighteen-year-old Kobe Bryant to take the shot, mm -hmm. yeah. and not him. He was giving it to a, like an MV, like a player that's done a lot of good things in Europe. Mm. Yeah, that, that also has experience. Yeah, because mm -hmm. when you say rookie, you think of the eighteen, nineteen-year-old, right? It wasn't that. It wasn't that kid. It was a yeah, 24, but 25 year old. Europe at that time wasn't the same as NBA at that time, was it? Uh, no, but there was still. Pockets of good players. I didn't through. say that. I didn't say that. But like the experience that you have in Europe, like Sto Stojakovic, Lotti Divac, hey, hey, Tony yeah. Kukoc. Look, look, whether whether your what your facts are saying, it's totally true. Tony Kukoc was the man in Europe, hundred percent. What you're saying is hundred percent. What I'm trying to get in your head, uh, uh, CJ, is to understand it from Pippin's point of view. Okay, end of the day, Pippin was never the man. Do you know why? Why? Because he, he didn't take the last shot. Mm. If they had read up a play for Kobe mm. or Jordan, as for someone else, do you think they would have cared what the coach said? They would have still took the last shot. What, say that again. He's saying the others would have taken it. it. Yeah. Oh, if, yeah. if they, if Pippen... It, oh, right, right, right. Oh, okay. if, if, if Phil Jackson read up a play... For freaking Paul Gasol to take the last shot, and the Lakers are down by one. If Kobe touches that ball, he's taking it. Yeah. Yeah. That's who he is. Yeah. That's who Jordan was. Scotty wasn't that guy. Yeah. As much as a fantastic player as Scotty was. Yeah. Like a, he's probably in the top five players to ever played a game. Really. Top five, yeah. Go, yeah. Uh, can I just give you a brief? I can I ask I re you a brief I reckon, question? I reckon CJ? in that era, yeah. Can I ask you a brief question? Play in that era, brief. Can I ask you a brief team. question? A little question. What? If I don't stop him, he'll keep talking. If look, if no. um, in during Miami, where Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh and LeBron were there, who was Batman and who was Robin? Well. The best player was LeBron. Not at that time. But he was Robin. <laughs> Not at that time he wasn't the best player. No, the winner was Wade. Yeah, Dwayne Wade. He was the he was yeah. super, uh, he was Superman, he was Batman. Yeah. Yeah. While LeBron hadn't he was a better player all round as a better player. Yeah. Like he just didn't have that instinct. The killer instinct. Like Wade like Wade will go after it. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. I was interested to see like, what you what you thought about that because 
like yeah, this, like, this uh, dynamic of uh, Batman like, and Robin is like there's it happens all the time, and I wonder how yeah, Robin deals like, with um, it. Oh, like Scotty Scotty Pepper, I think was probably the second best player in the NBA during that period. Yeah, that's that's not that's not um that's not shocking. And I think a lot of people up, think that he was he was paired up with the best player. Yeah, I wonder so, if there's Robin syndrome. You know Batman and Robin. Like, yeah. I wonder if there's a Batman Robin syndrome. And I wonder how many Robins. Like, like, imagine Paul Paul Gasol. What? Paul pa Gasol teamed up with Kobe. Yeah. But, but the same thing, mate. You're playing with that time's best player. Yeah. Like I think I heard Ron Artest have a discussion about how in Houston he was scoring something like 22 points a game. Paul Gasol. I'm now Ron Artest. Oh, Ron Artest. Yeah, yeah. Metal World Peace. Yeah. And then when he moved to the Lakers, he was scoring like six or eight. Yeah, because Kobe was the man, wasn't he? Right. Yeah, and he goes, and people were saying, oh, I'm not as good. I, I've I've digressed. Because I hadn't digressed. Because the problem was this. Kobe was the man. Yeah. First of all. So he gets the play. Mm. You have Pau Gasol, Andrew Bynum. <laughs> They're two fantastic players as well. Yeah. And then you have Lamar Odom. Yeah. He goes, where do you expect me to get the shots? Yeah. I'm interested in this Batman and Robin dynamic in the NBA. And, and I, pl- I wonder and how plus, many Robins, it's, 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 Robins it's, it's, actually go off so, or lose it at the um at Batman at the end of it. Hmm. Like they, they have the respect of the time, but then, but then over time it just gets to them. Like exactly. staying humble is a hell of a thing to do. Consistently staying humble, keep consistently keeping your mouth shut when the opinions of other people are just like it's overwhelming. And I wonder at what point do you just go fuck this? I am, I am as good as Batman. It's the, it's when you're a, when you're a celebrity when you're like a, a an A star player and you've made it to that level. It's your ego that has got you there partially. So that can't just be um, squashed down no. and forgotten about. Like it will rear its head at some point. Yeah. Like the old, Lake, old Lakers teams or Boston teams would be Larry Bird, Ma- uh, Magic Johnson. Yeah. They're Batman. Who's the Robins? What I'm trying to get at, Siege, like you, you name all the Batmans, which is cool. The Robins are necessary for Batman to succeed. Yes, and it sucks that some, it sucks that the Robins don't get the same appreciation and notor- notoriety with the Batmans because without them, they don't exist. I don't know how many times Robin in the comics have say has saved Batman from death. <laughs> These are the things that people don't like, and I understand it. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get it on Pippin's perspective that I think he's just saying stuff to get attention yep. because he hasn't got the respect. Yeah. And he hasn't it's pure frustration, frustration. saying that that Jordan everyone's notes um says that Jordan is the man and it's like without Pippin there there was no championships. But period. Again, yeah. coming back to the fact that Jordan said himself there would be no Jordan without Pippin. He says it himself. I know. It's not that he I don't think Pippin cares about what I think, uh, and it's hard. Like we said, you can't just force people to have the opinion like, I was good too. I was good too. Because then it just loses its effect. Yeah. And like, it's, it's, it's in his head. It's like, man, I worked as hard as everyone. I hustled. I did so much thing. And why didn't people notice? Everyone knows his name. Everyone, even if they aren't NBA people, they know his name. Mm. It's not like they don't know his name. They know his name. (sighs) Unfortunately, it's usually the guy that holds the trophy at the end. That's remembered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Steve Kerr. <laughs> like, like w- when the when the when the Lakers won the championship. Yeah. Everyone remembers Kobe standing on the table, spreading his arms apart. Not the fact that Gasol had a huge game. Ron Artest hit some ma- some very important shots. They remember so, wait, 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 Kobe standing Shaq, on the announce table. Shaq his arms Robin? Spread out. Are you saying Shaq was Robin? No, no, Kobe used to be a Robin. When and Shaq, Shaq was Shaq, Batman, Shaq was Batman, and then it changed. Yeah. Yeah. Shaq was Batman, and then Robin got, and then Robin goes, "Do you know what? It's my turn. I'm a better Batman." Right, 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 right. Well, Scotty never got that chance. No, that's what I'm saying. He never got that chance. He never got it. To be, 
to become Batman. Yeah. Mm. But he had, he had a period, there was a period of time when Jordan was retired where he could have became Batman. And that's what I'm talking Just about. I'm talking about instead of giving him the shot to become Batman, he never got given the shots to become Batman. But that's my yeah, point. That's my whole think- point. Do, do you think Bat- Batman waits for you to give him the shot or Batman just takes it? That's another question. That's a good question. Because as I said, if they would have read up a play for Paul Gasol to take the last shot... Guess who's taken Colby it? Kobe would have... Kobe's taken that shot. Yeah. Unless he's being double teamed, then he's going to pass it to Paul yeah. Gasol. All right. But if he, th- if he thinks he can hit the shot, he's taking it. Tell us what you think. He doesn't care. Tell us what you think. Tell me. Word.